Hello everybody, my name is Skullkid and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now in the last episode we finally made it here in the Goron Mines, which is actually the second dungeon. And uh, I hope you're not hearing the rain outside, it's raining right now um, at my place wherever I live in this small world. It's not that small though. But anyways, um, I had to um, re-record this episode so... Hopefully it's as good as um, the first one that completely failed because Windows was evil and literally just decided to restart my computer while I was recording this. Um, okay, anyways, so as, um, well, you guys haven't seen me do it the first time. So anyways, uh, we're gonna start off by going here and if you're curious, this exact same incident happened in the first recording of this. Um, but we are gonna go here, and I'm not sure there's anything to do over here. Now, this is essentially the Fire Temple, if you will. Um, it's officially named uh, Goron Mines, and we're gonna have to slash this wood right here. And luckily, this dungeon, I usually, I think I remember it pretty good, so I think it should be pretty straightforward. Probably even more straightforward than the, um, than the Forest Temple, except, of course, um, the forest temple, there was a bunch of editing into that video, so even then it probably didn't seem too bad. Um, but this one we're gonna try to go as fast as possible, and we're not necessarily aiming to get everything. Um, we're just trying to complete the game. That's essentially the goal of this walkthrough. Anyways, um, so I don't believe there's anything actually worth it up there. There's pots over there which I didn't get because I wasn't sure about that fire. Anyways, uh, there is an enemy right there. Oh, I thought we needed the boomerang because it's on fire. Some games you kind of do. Uh, it doesn't look like it for this one. Um, I'll spare myself the trouble because there's 20 rupees in that chest, um, but since our wallet counter is full, uh, it's completely useless. And oh my god, I cannot hit this with a sword. Um, okay, so moving on, I don't think, no, this is useless, so we want to go, we actually want to cross back here and then go over here, over here, and here there should be an enemy. Okay, and we gotta watch out for that wooden shield, because, um, uh, when I was recording this the first time, uh, it got burnt, but of course, uh, it didn't actually save the progress I made. So... Okay, whoops, uh, I already wasted precious time, but we are supposed to like, oh god, okay, that's too late, whatever, let's get rid of this one, um, which is all taken care of already, because they're not too hard to get rid of, but now we have to like reset this, because we don't have that much time. Okay, let's run pretty much as fast as we can, and we made it, okay. And down here... There is oh just a, a couple of these guys, pretty standard, not much to it. Uh, we could take this heart for sure. And what else is here? Okay, time to do this part, which I got a bit confused uh, last time. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure. Okay, I just uh, nothing special there. You just have to put the iron boots on, and that does it. And now we can actually go in the actual section of the dungeon, because that's kind of like a warm-up. There's not really any puzzle element. And here we have it, one of the key mechanics of this dungeon, even though it's a fire dungeon, or, uh, yeah, the fire dungeon. Um, there are some magnetic stuff to do here in this dungeon. There is also a bit of water element, strangely enough. Um, but we're gonna go here first, and... There should be a chest and also a couple of these guys. Not sure what they're called. Um, oh, let's do a finishing blow. Yeah, that's always cool. Um, okay, we got rid of all of them. There's oh, there's two barrels here. Nothing really in them. And let's open this chest and we are gonna get a small key. Okay, and there's pots here. Not sure if there's anything actually worth it. Five rupees, I don't care. We have max wallet. Um, so now, with this little detour, and now that we have our key, we can go um, up here. And if 
if I could just get here quick enough, do a little parkour, uh, wait for this one. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't fail yet. And now we need the key here, and we can already progress to the next part. Um, nothing special here, there are some rocks. And uh, we're gonna go fight this Dodongo right here. It feels awkward because I've already recorded this, so that's why I know exactly what's happening, because it's still fresh in my memory. Um, but this Dodongo is dead, and it's gonna give us a lot of hearts. Um, nothing special here. We didn't lose any hearts. Not much, at least, so far. Um, so nothing special here. We don't really need anything in those crates. Okay, we gotta do this. Um, oh, why is he on the side? This is unfortunate, but luckily he's pretty defenseless right now, so that's easy. Oh, I almost went there, okay. Let's wait, okay. Here we go, a bit of crates. I don't even know what I'm doing with these, because I can't... There's literally no use for me in the crates right now. Um, okay. I need to hit your tail. Okay. There we go, never mind. Looks like it won't be in one shot. Okay, well, I'm, I was struggling much more with these guys last time. And surprisingly enough, here we have to grab it. Um, but the weird thing about this is you actually don't need the iron boots, which, which seems like a missed opportunity, and no, why did I let go? Okay, I didn't mean to let go. Oh right, the fact that I let go, I have to actually wait for it to get back there. Oh, I see what's the problem here, it's that when I accidentally move my Wii Remote, it slashes the sword and lets go for you. Okay, so we gotta time this well. I'm gonna wait until the lava is, like, coming slightly back down. Uh, no, I waited too much, whatever. Whatever, we can still do this, right? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure! Ah, no. Oh, no, I failed. Okay, well, um, let's do this again, I guess. Okay, this seems about right enough. Yeah, that's pretty efficient. I think that's hard to beat of a run. Look at that, so efficient. Don't even have to, like, run over there, really. All efficient, and this is the part I'm talking about. Um, with the, uh, the magnetic boots coming into play, and there is a bit of water, um, which is odd enough, but definitely a cool feature to this dungeon. Okay, so there's not much to do, we just put our iron boots, and we don't want to drown, because there is a counter up there. And look at that, magnets just like that. Not too complicated. Okay. And now we can progress to the next section. Let's see, what's up with this guy? Oh, there's a chest over there. We'll get that first, why not? What's in here? Oh yes, we got the dungeon map! Okay, so that's off to a good start. There's most likely rupees in this one, but we never know. Maybe I should open it, because you never know. You could get, like, quarter pieces of hearts, right? What is it? At 20 rupees. Okay, that's going back in there. Okay. And there's some pots. Oh, we can't use our sword. Well then. Uh, that seems like a waste. Let's talk to this guy. I thought I felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human. Word has come to me of you, and if Gor Koron has faith in you, then your heart must be through. I am one of the four Goron elders. Goramoto is my name. You are heroic, young human. Please, you must lend this tribe your power. And you got a key shard. You need all three to return the big key to its original shape. Okay, that's a pretty interesting concept right there. That is one of the key shards. That, when merged together, forms the key to the room where Darbus is being held. He is our patriarch. The key is split into three pieces. Each of us elders keep a piece. 
You must hurry to the other elders. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. And um, this room is pretty cool looking. Um, it's nice to have like a less um, a room that doesn't have like only lava in it. Anyways, uh, so now we have to find all the other elders, which are kind of scattered around the dungeon right here. And there is a moving pot over there. Um, so, oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, look at that! It's Oku again, or Uku, from uh, the first dungeon. Phew! Free at last! Gracious! You're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we've found each other again, let's stick together for a bit. I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. And you reunited with Uku. This kind character can let you out of dungeons and return you where you were. Okay, so pretty much um, typical stuff. We know this by now. Okay, oh, there's a bunch of enemies on the ice. Um, so this is actually the room where we were before. Um, just now, um, we're on top of it, and we're gonna have to use those boots. So I'm gonna try to dislodge these guys. Apparently that's not a thing I can do. Uh, wait. So my question is, can I fight, like, when I'm actually on the wall? I think I can. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. But I wouldn't be surprised that, like, if I get hit, there's, like, a side effect of me falling down or something. Because that would seem very illogical. Um... So, did I miss anything here? I don't think so. So let's just progress on this way. And I believe we're still back in the same room, but once again from the second floor of things, if I may say. Well, actually, why don't we take a second and look at our map? Um, we're, so we're still technically on the first floor, because we can fall back down, but... Um, okay, so let's uh, put our boots on. Okay, so I didn't even notice that there was, um, like a magnet on the roof, except that is a good thing, I suppose. Uh, apparently this is a dead end, because I believe we actually need to go to the other side. Um, but sometimes, sometimes the camera angle isn't the best, um, so it's kind of hard to tell where the best way to go is. It's also hard to tell the distance between enemies and length. But we definitely want to go that way. It seems it's a blue chest, so it's one of those actually slightly more important ones. Okay, so I just kind of skipped past this guy. Um, we should be over, like, the ground by now, right? Yeah, okay, we're all safe, so let's just do this quickly. And... What do we get? Oh, we get a quarter piece of heart. That is great. Okay, um... So we can go back up there. Do we want to go back up there? I'm not sure. Uh, we can use our slingshot. We haven't used our slingshot really in quite a long time. Uh, so why don't we do that? Because I'm sure the slingshot can actually... Maybe not, actually. Whatever. Okay, so... Where do we want to go now? Uh, do we want to go back up here? I'm going to assume we want to go back up here. Okay, one sec. Okay, let's see. I am uh, back down here. I don't know where I should actually be going. So, maybe if we have a look at the roof from this side. Oh, wait. I see what we... Well, kind of. Uh, let's go on the ledge. We want to go... I'm not sure where we want to go, actually. Um, was this, like, chest? Yeah, this chest was kind of a side quest thing. So we want to go all the way around over there to over there, if that makes any sense. Um, so, we'll probably skip a part of this or fast forward, because it seems kind of long. Let's hit this guy and go all the way around. 
Okay, so we've pretty much made it across. So we can just hop down and go to the next section. And let's see, hopefully I remembered this part. I haven't actually recorded this part last time, so this is all new. Well, I've played this like a year ago, so let's see if I can remember it. Okay, so, uh, I don't even know why I broke those, but because we have full hearts right now, so let's go battle these guys. Uh, let's see if there's anything over here. Except for these guys, there's a switch, which I suppose is really the important thing here. And apparently these guys weren't dead. But now they're definitely dead. And let's, uh, I guess this flips the magnet over. Okay, so this flips it over here, and oh, is it just gonna keep on rotating? Okay, yes, it goes back and forth. Um. Ah! Damn it, I missed it. So I'm actually not sure if I want to go back down there, because this is the place where we were before, so this is kind of like a checkpoint. Um, so we want to go up. Wait, no, we came from here. I don't know. Where do we want to go, actually? Oh, I think this magnet actually goes back and forth. So, okay, this is a... Um, so if you go on the left, it brings you back where we were before. But if we go on the right, uh, then we actually progress. Okay, so that's what we want to do. I almost fell down there. Oh, God, there's more. There's more enemies that I didn't actually see. Um... Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. Oh, we could use this heart. And we don't care about that rupee. And let's activate another magnet, I guess. Okay, so we just want to make sure to go in the right direction. But this is pretty clearly where we want to go. And pro probably we want to slash this guy. And they're all gonna die pretty easily. Not much about this. The enemies aren't, like, really sophisticated at this point. Let's just smash this and that. I don't know why, but we will. And move on to the next part. And what is here? What are these guys? Okay, we're just gonna battle them pretty quickly. Oh no, I've been hit. There's a bunch of hearts uh, just just around here, so that's not a big deal, except I fell, so uh, whatever. Anyways, guys, we're going to leave this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess right here, because um, i got to get recording the next one in time. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to share this video to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.